Crop Talk on Market Journal is supported by Nebraska's soybean farmers and their checkoff. Finally today, we head back to the grounds of Husker Harvest Days in what they call the Big Red Building. Market Journal producer Bill Dodd went one-on-one -on -one with Extension educator Ron Seymour to get some information on why soybean producers should keep a vigilant watch for soybean stem borer as harvest hits full swing. Harvest is in full swing around Nebraska. Soon those soybean fields will be picked clean. However, there may already be some pests in the field getting a head start on our producers. The soybean stem borer has been a consistent problem in areas of the state. It's a good idea to be aware of these pests when making plans for harvest. So soybean stem borers are small beetles, longhorn beetles, that will, in their larval stage, will tunnel out the inside of the stem of a soybean plant. And that tunneling can cause the, that particular stem to lodge or fall over, making it really hard to harvest. And so soybean producers should be out looking at their fields for a kind of like a flagged leaf or a stem that's kind of uh, not standing quite straight or an area where they're not. And that means that you have these stem borers in there. So the thing to do then is to take out some of those stems and slice them just to see if you have any of those larvae in their feeding. And uh, if you have very much of that in your field, it's important to target those fields for earlier harvest. Even if your moisture level is a little high in those particular fields, to be able to harvest those early um, will help you in, in the long run because if you get a big wind or as those plants continue to dry down, they can all fall flat. And then that's really hard to harvest as most farmers are aware. And so better to be able to target those and say, I'm gonna get this field first or this part of that field first so that I will get the greatest amount of, of harvest or yield from that particular field before it goes on, on the ground. If you happen to determine that stem borer populations could cause problems, it will already be too late for any treatments. However, there are steps you can take over the next planting and growing season to ensure that these beetles stay clear of impacted fields. So if you have a lot of soybean stem borers, then, you know, we're more than likely they're going to be uh, rotating to corn anyway, but a couple of years of corn will certainly help reduce the amount of stem borers that are in that particular field. You know, you could go through and um, tear up the trash in a few of those areas. I kind of hate to see people do that because, you know, we don't have a lot of residue behind soybeans anyway. And um, so just rotation can really help a lot in those situations. If you have a lot of stem borers in your area, you know, some people have talked about looking at making some insecticide applications to help control those. Unfortunately, the borer adults are out there for quite a while. And so it may be two or three applications, applications of an insecticide to control those. So just kind of pay attention, see how much of your field is affected. Think about those management options when you go back to soybeans. In short, these pests could populate the area enough to reach a threshold which would cause an economic loss for producers. With that in mind, it's important for producers to get a good estimate of the rate of infestation in their fields before developing a plan of action. It, we really have a hard time putting a number on that. And so if you're seeing 20, 30 percent of your soybeans being lodged, then you really want to pay attention to that, and particularly those areas. And um, you know, if you're seeing about 10 percent, you can probably let it go on for a little while. But if we're seeing more than that, then you know, go out. They're, they're going to be in areas in the field because they, they tend to be in these hot spots and try to locate those, and that can be a big help too. As producers begin to roll out the combines, it may be beneficial for them to get a good look at their soybean fields in order to ensure that they're able to let that crop continue to dry down or decide if they should try to harvest a bit earlier than intended. Reporting for Market Journal, I'm Bill Dodd.